Our nonprofit is committed to giving people who are left out of home ownership a way to have long-term stability and build financial equity like an owner would. Um, the two families moving in have been coming to meetings for several months to learn about this. They've committed to stay at least five years and they come to regular meetings with their neighbors. We, they take care of the property and because they stay long term, we save money on the turnover that most landlords would have. For one thing, we're rehabilitating housing in the neighborhood and most affordable low-income housing is in a large development. So one of our goals is to help build up the community and to retain housing that's affordable to everybody. One of the residents moving into here has been looking for four years to find a decent home she can afford to live in with her husband and their two kids, um, and they haven't been able to find it. So knowing that this is here, helping to, to create the vision among um, funders and the city that this is possible, there is an alternative of just being a renter and you know, with no, no opportunity. Um, once people really believe that, our residents really believe it, and we're out to, to make this uh, not only a Cincinnati model, but a national model. The end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, there was a countywide housing st uh, strategy that was completed. And uh, through that strategy, it was determined that the county as a whole uh, had a gap of over 40,000 units, affordable units. And within Avondale itself, there's approximately 1,400 units, uh, affordable units that we are missing. So projects like uh, the renting um, equity, the Renters' Equity pro uh, Project uh, helps us to address and to begin to close that gap in affordable housing in the community. But not only that, but um, as Marchie stated, you know, we are taking a property that was at one time a blight to the community. Uh, it has been renovated. It will soon be occupied by families. Um, and it also shows that this community cares and that there are investments that are being made within this community. When we take a building like this and we have and it's renovated, it improves not only the property conditions in the community, but it it also improves the environment and those and, and those that live around it, the property, it improves their their outlook on the community as well, uh, seeing that, there's someone that's taking the time, putting the money in, and that really wants to make Avondale a home. So it means a lot for us. It had rained in here for five years. Um, it was um, all the flooring, um, all the roofs, everything was completely demolished, uh, damaged, water damaged, to where you can actually see, you can stand on the top floor and look all the way through. So we couldn't even walk in here. The, the um, inspectors made us put down uh, safety uh, planks and boards and stuff so that we could even, before we could even get in to, to work on it to, for, for safety. Um, but we got, we, we got through it and now um, we just kept going at it. And a lot of different problems, including personnel problems, but that's what you have when you have these kind of projects and we made it through it and here we are today. I'm happy because, you know, I, this has been a, a long project for me over the, the, the months that we were in here. Um, but, you know, again, uh, as Marie and everyone else was saying, we, this, it, it's improved the community uh, tremendously. Now when you drive down the street, it looks differently. Uh, this house has had everything totally done. I practically rebuilt this one. We've got new windows, all new doors, uh, all new entry doors. Um, we, we got all new flooring, including the base part of the flooring, um, all new ceiling. We got new HVAC in here, new, uh, all new plumbing, and all new electric. Everything was run completely new. So, so this house has totally, basically been rebuilt.
we really saved a lot of the architecture here uh, in that um, we uh, have had good fireplaces in both of the properties that we have. In the one, uh, the 7th, 7th, 32-34 uh, uh, building, they have Rookwood fireplaces. I would like to talk to you about the people who are moving into our properties and who have moved into our properties. The older building that we have, we have two uh, middle-aged women uh, and they are uh, uh, one's um, the director of a preschool, uh, nursery school, uh, daycare center, and the other one is a, uh, she does retail as a part of her retirement from her previous job. The other, uh, they have been uh, very good residents. One has uh, joined the community council on a regular basis because she has the evenings off. The other one can't go because she does retail and have different hours, but she cleans up around the neighborhood. She uh, works with another gentleman that they make sure that the property is always picked up for free, trash free. 